Hey guys, Corey here with Gotta Be Mobile, and we're taking a look at the LG G Pad today. Now, this is an 8.3 inch tablet that's been available for a little while now, but now that you know, Newegg and a bunch of other places and Best Buy have this for a Cyber Monday deal, we figured we'd take a second look at it and uh, let you guys all check it out. So, this will just be a quick hands on and unboxing, not a lot to it. This is an 8.3 inch tablet that is pretty impressive specs all around, only for $349. You get an 8.3 inch display that is comparable to like the iPad mini and many others because it comes in at a full 1080p HD resolution like the new Nexus 7. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside. And in the box, you know, nothing too specific here. Some paperwork and then the usual chargers. And uh, we've been kind of using it for a few days here. So there's nothing fancy to it. It's kind of a box and uh, charger and paperwork. So we're going to go ahead and set that aside and get to the main deal here which is the tablet itself. So as you can see it's a pretty good size definitely a good size and you know fits in your hand quite nice but overall it's just a been an impressive tablet here for us for the last few days and uh, it's kind of a fingerprint magnet on the back but what we do have here is an overall package that's quite impressive from LG so like we mentioned we have a 8.3 inch display here and that is 1080p it's got a Snapdragon 600 quad-core processor under the hood with 2 gigs of RAM and then it comes with 16 gigabytes of internal storage. But then what makes it even better, you know, over the Nexus 7 and iPad mini and many others is right here. You can actually pull this open and it is a micro SD slot for expanding storage. So it does have 16 and of course you can add as much as you would like. And while you're looking at the back here, it's got a, a nice kind of a lightweight aluminum a 5 megapixel camera with 1080p video and stereo speakers and they are stereo unlike the G2 smartphone and others. The G-Pad 8.3 has full stereo sound that's actually pretty impressive. As you slide around the side we have the power button, the volume rockers, down below is the USB port for charging and syncing, a little microphone and then nothing on this side. And As we rotate back to the front here where the micro SD slot was, we also have an infrared blaster to use this as a remote and LG's quick remote app works wonderfully and then of course the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Now we're going to go ahead and turn on the LG G Pad 8.3 and just like the G2 and a few others it's got a, kind of a nifty feature for turning it on. It seems kind of mediocre at first and not that big of a deal but instead of trying to fumble for a button when it's on a stand or sitting on the table a quick double tap on the screen initiates it and turns it on and then you slide to unlock and you are in and ready to go. Same thing double tap and it turns off double tap and it turns back on and now this is actually kind of a kind of a fancy feature we've kind of enjoyed it overall more than we thought we would just because it kind of makes it really easy to go ahead and flip open the device turn it on and get it going within seconds that you know usually you'd have to kind of find the power button so overall here it's Android 4.2 Jelly Bean which is kind of the only major downer for the G-Pad 8.3 LG is kind of notorious for not being the best maybe when it comes to updating to the latest and greatest software and the G-Pad's no exception here. There's no 4.3 or 4.4 like the Nexus 7. This may get an upgrade to 4.3 or 4.4 after the, G or the G2 does which is already kind of slated for sometime next year. So the only downside will be updates and Android here but Android 4.2 does work great already and uh, it's no exception here on the G-Pad. So we have, you know, your standard buttons down below. The pull-down bars kind of got a lot going on, as you can see here. They have uh, all their quick apps and shortcuts, but uh, it's pretty smooth. And then down here, we can go ahead and change the brightness and notification sound. It's it's not the best layout. We're definitely not fans of it, to, to say the least. And uh, hopefully we can get rid of that. You know, and then they've got a kind of a neat little effect here. There's no more pages, so it kind of tells you and everything kind of slides, but it's kind of a cool effect here with the stock launcher and very smooth animations. The quad-core Snapdragon 600 is extremely quick in the LG G2 and it just just flies. Go ahead and head into the app tray and overall it's been kind of a good tablet to use. It's great for gaming and then of course, like I mentioned, um, using the quick remote app, you go ahead and launch this and it's got an awesome remote. So here you can kind of, I've got it set up for my Vizio TV and using that infrared port up top. You can control the TV while you're browsing, you know, the web on the couch, and uh, that's been probably what I've used the most. Is that sad? But one thing here, I'm going to go ahead and hit home. I have two launchers on this because I'm not the biggest fan of the stock software provided by LG. Not going to lie. 
Um, it's definitely not my favorite part of the G2 or the G pad. So I went ahead and replaced it with Nova Launcher, kind of gives it more of a stock Android look. So when you launch that, you've got a stock kind of Android 4.3, 4.4 look to it. And uh, overall, this kind of just been a much better experience for me, but to each their own. Everyone will probably, you know, do what they want. And of course, the notification bar doesn't change, but the, uh, you know, the, the app tray changes and is more kind of in line with what we're used to with some of the stock Android devices. But if you want to go back to that regular launcher, it's just a button away, and this is how it comes out of the box by LG. Obviously, I've added a couple apps and games and notifications and different things, but overall, it's been kind of a great experience. Go ahead and head into settings. Oh, the main settings might be more helpful. Right here, this settings button is only for the volume, and it's actually a tiny little button down here to get into your main settings page, which is just an awful way to do it, LG. That needs to be fixed. But it's got a nice kind of double pane view here. You can go ahead and kind of get that sideways. It is a much better overall experience. The only thing uh, that it's kind of been a downer maybe is the brightness isn't quite as bright as the Nexus 7 or even the iPad mini. I thought the brightness would be a little better. It is a full, you know, 1920 by 1080 p HD display on this 8.3 inch screen, but the brightness isn't the best. But that aside, the battery life's been pretty great. Um, not, not anything amazing, but pretty excellent. I believe it's a 4700 milliamp battery inside. And of course, like we mentioned, Android 4.2 is on board, which is, you know, it's okay. But we'd love to see something new. But overall, it's been a pretty, pretty great device for, you know, browsing the web, using on the couch, of course, using that remote, which conveniently LG has built right into the notification pull-down bar. You tap quick remote, and it instantly appears here for you. You can see that on screen, the remote, right from the notification bar. Or you can go ahead and tap one button and expand into the full remote and control your TV. And we have the uh, slide-aside features and everything else that's been available on the G-Pad. Go ahead and slide with three fingers. It saves it over to the side, and now it says up above, slide aside, app has been saved. And then a couple, three fingers slide again, will kind of reopen it. So you can add multiple things. Very similar to the push and hold, multitasking. It's already on Android 4.4, or 4.2. So it's kind of nice, but kind of unnecessary. And then of course, Google Now is available as always for those looking for some Google Now information. That was just a quick look at the LG G-Pad 8.3. It's quite nice. It's a 349, brand new, but uh, plenty of deals on Newegg and other places have it for much cheaper this week. So we figured a quick look at what LG had to offer was in uh, order. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for a uh, full review coming up.